and I'm back from a little break. I got my wind back. My heart is settling. I think my pulse has come down to about 75. <laughs> if you just take it easy, you can do almost anything. It's when you get crazy. It's amazing. I think I might have uh, perhaps underestimated exactly how far I was away from joining this trail. Now it seems like it's about 20 feet. I think I may have, I may have been a little bit uh, lenient with my estimates of 40 feet. It could have been more like 50. But anyhow, we just keep shoveling. It really hasn't been a terribly snowy winter, pretty average. A couple more good snowfalls and uh, the, uh, snow, the snow bed will start to, uh, banks will start decreasing. Now I let my dog out without a leash here with these wonderful little paths and she goes running, screaming and barking and she chases the cat through here. The cats, well actually we just let one out in particular, but uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun to watch them play. It kind of reminds me of when the kids were young. <laughs> but these are for babies because our kids are getting older and soon they'll be uh, on their own with their own families. Struggling like we all did when we were younger. And just trying to tie up our loose ends while we prepare for retirement. I'm uh, three to uh, six years away with good behavior. Financial behavior that is. We'll just see where we get to, but I do believe I'll be fine. I don't require a lot of things, guys. Gardening, good friends. Good gardening friends. Carp fishing, cat fishing, bass fishing, walleye fishing, trout fishing. All those kind of things. Anything but working. <laughs> well, I'm still okay there, but I can tell this old body of mine. This, uh, Presenting me with more challenges as I get a little older. And uh, going to work every day, well, that is challenging. The type of work I do, I'm not going to talk about it, but it's uh, demanding but very rewarding. But, uh, I, you know, I'm into like year 21 in this particular company that I'm working with. And I, before that, I worked about eight years in this field. All right, I'm on the other side of this garlic bed and we're gonna change the speak to garlic bed speak. I'm looking forward to seeing how that turns out. Harvest time is August. I'm hoping that uh, the roots, uh, we had a mild fall, so I think the root systems probably grew fairly well in this bed here. And uh, I would be willing to bet that we'll get good sized bulbs this year. And uh, I heap the compost on there. I had a composter right there and uh, you can see it over there. I haven't really reset it up. So we're just gonna see what happens. Anyway, I have conjoined these paths. They are completely, I got one more to do. We're gonna do it a little later. Maybe I'll do that tonight. And we'll do part three of this little video to keep our brains from getting so bored under lockdown. Hope I'm a good distraction for you guys at home just know we're in this together I've been watching a ton of gardening videos carp videos carp fishing videos and working of course doing everything I can to keep my mind healthy or well maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration but I'm trying to get more healthy Okay, that's it for now. We'll take a little walk in this path. I'm sure the dog's gonna like this. And moon pew. And there's the other part of that trail there. We'll get going there in a minute. All right. 
Sorry for the heavy breathing, guys. Okay, here we are. This is the garage. And that's the entrance to the house at the back. Let's walk our trail, shall we? Okay. You can see. We're going to walk it at night with the uh, headlamp, too. And I'll uh, give you a night view of this with the animals out enjoying it, too, as well. See the wind blowing the tobacco around? Dried up, shriveled up. It gave us everything last summer. It was a beautiful, beautiful specimen of a plant. 10 feet tall. Gorgeous. All right, composter in there. I've got some stuff in there. I uh, got the uh, seat out for... Uh, excuse me, guys. I got a seat out for the, uh, the birds. And my disco ball is still not working. I got to keep on fiddling with this. Yeah, I'll take it in and see if it's a soldering connection or something like that. Or maybe the electronics just got water in it and just finished it off. I don't know. I like to keep things working. All right, down the path we go. And this, uh, you can see landscape forever. Oh, there's deer poop. Yeah, right there. So they've been coming in through that little opening over there and over there and from over there. And they've been finding their way over here. Now, I haven't been able to find the bird feeders because I like to put them up so the deer have, you know, less chance of getting them. I'm not trying to starve the deer or anything. I just like nature. You don't want to interfere too much because you can cause like a, a population spike in a the deer, then a coyote spike, and then the deer die off because of wasting's disease or something like that. And then you got all these coyotes and then your house pets aren't safe and that kind of thing. They come right into town, the coyotes, oh yeah. You hear them howling. That's when it's time to get your cats in, particularly, because you know cats, they like confrontation there. They're gonna they're not gonna run away, they're gonna fight this animal and you know it usually doesn't end up good for the cat. Near our potato bed right here. Deep under snow and cover. Beautiful. That's gonna be our parsnip bed over there. And I haven't really figured out what we're going to do. My wife and I haven't really figured out how we're going to approach that last bed. Now, these beds are hot in the summertime. My God, they're hot. So, you know, consideration for some hot plants might be an idea. I'm uh, actually going to grow some parsnips in the pail because they're short Guernseys. They grow about that long, which is not bad. And in the pail, you've got about that much ground. So, hey, you're supposed to space them eight inches apart. I figure I can do this. Hey, it's an experiment. We'll see. So the other part is I want to shovel around here. You can see the little indentation. That's going to happen next. Probably a little bit later. I'll get my boys to help me with that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the trail here. And uh, thanks for coming along with me while I cleared it out. And uh, we'll make some more conjoining trails. I might after that one's done over there. I might uh, make another one here and make a little maze. A little snow maze for the kids. That'd be my fur babies. My teenage boys aren't so interested. All right, Rob out from part two of clearing the way, clearing the snow out of the way. Take care everybody and thanks for coming along. <laughs>